So I'm sitting here looking at my dream prom dress that I wanted to have made for my prom. So when I was 18, I sketched this prom dress and I wanted this dress to be made and I didn't know how to do it and I didn't want I was not about to attempt anything because I didn't want my dress to look like a fool so basically um, I remember telling my friend that I had a dress I sketched out my dress you know and she was like oh I'm about to get my dress made and you can come with me to the tailor and probably if you like what the tailor doing maybe you can have your dress made too so I was like okay I'm gonna come with you to the tailor whatever so we end up going to the tailor shop and when I got there I was like why is it messy in here you know I didn't know anything I was a little bit confused and on top of that I was being very extra so I was like you know what let me just keep my mouth closed so as the tailor was speaking to my friend she would the tailor was telling her you know um the dress is not ready for fitting so i was like what you told her that she had to come here to get her fitting then all of a sudden the tailor also told her that she need to get more fabric so i was like oh i'm not about to mess with this tailor because i'm not trying to have my day my biggest day of my life ruined so i end up deciding to go and look in the prom books to see if i can find something similar but of course why would they have something similar um because this is my design so i end up finding another dress and this is what i wore to prom but before i show you that prom dress this video is sponsored by june's journey june's journey is a hidden object mystery game set in the 1920s it is available for free on ios and android phones and tablets in the game you will help june parker solve the mystery murder of her sister while she uncovers her family secrets all you have to do is find objects hidden in beautiful, colorful, carefully crafted scenes. Since the game starts off in New York and expands to the rest of the world, I enjoy playing this game because of the captivating storyline that is full of twists, turns, and exciting cliffhangers. I find it very relaxing after a long day of fabric shopping. So download June's Journey today. So this is the actual prom dress that I wore. This was my prom dress. And it doesn't fit. <laughs> well, I took this because of the pink flowers that it had here. You see that? This is the pink flowers I was talking about. That's probably why I got the dress. Oh, and it had a little bag that I carried with, that came with it. The dust from that hanger sponge deteriorated onto the fabric. So this little pouch bag, I carried it with prom, to prom, and I felt like I was a Cinderella, the belle of the ball. Even though people thought I was getting married. It is so crazy how I'm looking at this now and I'm like, the bottom kind of looks like panels. You know, and the top is just kind of, the bodice is kind of low, like dropped low waist. But um, it's so funny to me that the bottom looked like a panel um, A-line gown. So I think I'm going to redo this. Uh, I want it, I want the whole entire look, like the gloves and everything. I want my hair to be like this. I think I wanted my hair to be like Shirley Temple curls or something. But um, I think I want to get like a, a natural... Um, wig that kind of give me a spirally um, look effect like this so here's the back of the gown it has a bow but i think i want to make this more bigger and trainy and leaving the back not like a train but just even it just like this but just have the bows extend towards the back and it also have an open back detail so i really like this oh my gosh i can't believe i was doing this when i was 18. this is this is major this is really major so um, I want to bring this to life, and this is what we're going to go and do.
So I'm gonna perfect the line here. Then I'm gonna separate these patterns, trace it onto paper, and then cut them out on fabric. Next, I went ahead and cut out my inner bodice that's gonna be fused with fusible. So this is not uh, modified like the upper bodice. This is the lining, which I kept everything in one whole piece. So here is my fusible. I'm gonna be using this to add some more weight to the lining of the bodice. Um, this is going to have all kinds of bones, so I want more support by doing this. This is medium weight and it has a glue side so that way I can iron it on to the bodices. So I just finished sewing the whole entire lining bodice. So now I'm going to press and prepare for my boning and also um, put like a special taping to help keep the bodice up. So what I'm going to do is press all my seam allowance towards the back and down so that way I can stitch a stay stitch down so I can create a casing for my boning. So on this side, it will look like this stitched into place. So I'm gonna do that for each and every seam allowance. So here is the bodice, the inner lining done. This is the body strip that I put on the inside. I didn't um, close it with the self um, seam allowance. I decided to put a bi um, binding tape along the princess seam so I can insert the bones. I also put this silicone tape to give it um, some more hold when the uh, strapless bodice is worn. It looks like this, it has a shiny sticky um where you can find you can probably find this on a bra um that will stick to the skin just to help keep the bodice up i just put it on the inside here and um and then put um some hanger loops for when it's time for me to hang the bodice or the dress now i'm going to insert my bones into i'm gonna insert my bones into these casings and as always, the plastic bones look like this. And if you watch my other video, this is the plastic bone. Um, this is what it needs to be done towards the end. So you just have to round it off. And then you just insert it 
into the bodice. This will keep the shape of the bust and help the bodice to stay up. I'm going to insert all my bones into this bodice and then move on to the skirt. So here is my skirt. This is the front of the skirt, okay? And I also cut the back portion of the skirt as well and I'm going to go ahead and connect them at the side seam with a French seam finish and leaving the center back open now as you can see the skirt is not a panel um, I didn't want to have the panel look on the outside I just wanted to kind of give it a feel for it with the petticoat underneath So in my last tutorial, I showed you how I created my petticoat. Um, I did look at the comments and someone recommended me to add a bone at the bottom just to keep the bottom edge um, curvy and that was a great idea. So I went ahead and applied that. I did see that myself, but um, you definitely confirmed it. So this is what the dress looks like without the petticoat and it's just the bodice and the outer shell of the skirt very bland right so here is the dress with the petticoat underneath and as you can see it gives it the rounded panel shape without the panels so now I'm going to go ahead and line the bodice and put the horse hair in so I went ahead and installed my invisible zipper right here and then also cleaned up the center back seam and closed it. I'm gonna apply this really wide horsehair braid to the hem of my dress. So now I'm gonna connect my lining bodice to the bodice of the gown. So all I'm gonna do is just place this like this over this, sew it a half an inch. So now I'm gonna put the straight stitch one eighth of an inch to hold and push all of this back towards the lining. So I'm gonna top stitch that into place. Okay, so I just finished pressing the inside of the bodice. Um, as you can see, the waistline needs to be connected to the petticoat. It is open as well as the zipper here. So what I'm gonna do now is connect my petticoat to it. So here's my petticoat. Again, there's a video on how to create this. Um, what I'm gonna do is just stitch it a half an inch to um, completely seal this up until where the zipper starts and I'm going to leave that open. So I'm going to go ahead and connect it to the lining. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, it's so heavy. Heavy. Whew, I see why these gowns cost so much. Ooh, now that's more like it. Almost there, I'm almost there. Do you love it, Jixie? Okay, so I made a long strip of a long strip of black satin. Um, this is going to be my bow. So I already stitched it in place like I did the waistband and put the fusible on one side of it a really stiff and a stiff bow so I'm gonna turn this inside out and then press it all right so I have this connected in the center and all I'm gonna do is just scrunch it at the center like this where I want it and 
and how I shape it. And I'm gonna put something to tie right here and then place it on the gown however I want. Um, I was thinking about putting the tail. I'm not sure yet. Um, I don't wanna overkill the dress. I wanna keep it very simple. Uh, I remember doing that, but when you see it in person, sometimes uh, you make different decisions. So I like the bow. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and you'll see the final dress. So this is the final gown. I think I did a fabulous job in recreating my dream prom dress. The only thing I wish I did was keep the open back because I thought the bow was going to cover it. So what was the point of having an open back? But now that I see the bow, I wish I kept the open back. But other than that, I absolutely love the gown. So leave your comments down below. Also, I will be opening up inquiries for special occasion gowns. Please read the description box for all information on how to have me custom make you a gown for your special event. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Back that thing up, girl. You look good with your back that thing. Beat the big back. You know that one got.